want my rights. My rights, uh, you give me a parole every other day, it doesn't give me my rights. If I don't have any rights, he doesn't have any rights. He doesn't have any rights, and you don't have any rights. I if, think I think I know what you're saying. Yeah, in other words, if everybody gets equal rights, you got equal rights to the rights I got. And that's to sit down and keep your mouth shut or get your jaw broke. Is that the rights you want? Hey everybody, this is Jesus J. Christ uh, coming out with you with a long overdue news story. Uh, sorry it's been a few minutes, but I've been hard at work trying to make that dollar to pay the bills. And when I do, I get real tired. So um, I've had to really uh, pump up the work level lately too because, you know, just had to. I'd rather do this during the day, but um, unfortunately I'm not, you know, making enough off you know ads or donations yet hopefully i will so i can spend all my time doing this i know a lot of people out there brag about doing this for free and you know they have to make it a point to tell you more than once more than one video uh, how they do this for free and you know that's great and i know that um massages your ego to tell people that but if you did make money doing it and you made enough you could do it all day long and as a you could do it as a you know a, a job and you could probably help the world a lot more you know so anyway that's my thoughts on the deal um i have a real uh interesting uh news article here from veterans com. Yep, not Fox News, not CSNBC, not NBC, not ABC, not LPG, not GPI, not none of the alphabets. It's VeteransToday.com. Legitimate resources that you can check into. Legitimate. It's a legitimate study done by legitimate PhDs. And uh, the article is uh, today is 12-12-2013. The article says new studies. Conspiracy theorists saying government dupes crazy hostile. Um, and basically what it's about is uh, how a, a study that these people have done has shown that quote-unquote conspiracy theorists are more sane than actually, um, what do they call uh, the other people, conventionalists. And uh, you can actually see that. And philosophers have mentioned that in the past that people in the truth are are you usually feel like they're the insane ones but they're really the sane ones and the people who are in the truth are the insane ones um i forget which researcher said it's something when 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 insanity is seen as sanity and worlds in trouble or something like that um so Anyway, new studies, conspiracy theorists saying so. It says, recent studies by psychologists and social scientists in the U.S. and U.K. suggest that contrary to mainstream media stereotypes, those labeled conspiracy theorists appear to be saner than those who accept the official versions of contested events. You know, and it's real funny, too, that label. I guess in this article it says it actually came out, it was actually uh, brought into society through the CIA. It was part of CIA propaganda. Uh, but George Bush really planted it in everybody's mind real good, too. And it's funny because everybody and their brother makes fun of George Bush and the way he talks and his mispronunciation of words and stuff like that. Yet yeah, he sure did slick Willie plant that uh, conspiracy theorist uh, uh, label in everybody's head. So, you know, think about that for a minute. All right, and it goes on to say, the most recent study was published on July 8th by psychologist Michael J. Wood and Karen M. Douglas of the University of Kent. And I did uh, do the research. Um, anyway, I did the research, and I that all checks out legit. They're PhDs at the University of Kent, and, you know, so that all checked out. 
so it goes on to say the authors were surprised to discover that it is now more conventional to leave so-called conspiracist comments than conventionalist ones of the 2174 comments collected 1459 so it's not a big study but it's something that i've seen and a lot of other people have seen and commented on too that you know people are just you know just losing it they're they're really going crazy and they're in denial and they don't want to see the truth and it's it, it's been talked about throughout the ages for thousands of years how that was going to be you know and not only in the bible which i'm not a big bible fanatic uh, I think the Bible's a good book if you know how to read it. But to take it literally most of the time is no good. So anyway, that aside, um, for thousands of years we've been being told this, you know, that uh, people and the truth will be looked at as crazy, you know, when it's really the other way around. And then it says uh, 14. 1,459 were coded as conspiracists and 715 as conventionalists. In other words, among people who commented on news articles, those who disbelieve government accounts of such events of 9-11 and JFK assassination outnumber believers by more than two to one. That means it is the pro-conspiracy commenters who are expressing what is now the conventional wisdom while the anti-conspiracy commenters are becoming a small, blingered minority. And I don't even like that uh, label conspiracy theorist. And it goes on in the article to say that people like me don't like that because it's not it's conspiracy theories it's conspiracy facts now there are theories out there and i do have some theories sometimes but a lot of what i talk about and other people talk about are conspiratorial facts not theories uh so it goes on to say perhaps because their supposedly mainstream views no longer represent the majority uh the anti-conspiracy commenters often display anger and hostility which is true I have that right around me in my uh, immediate circle. S somebody that I deal with will get very hostile and and just nasty when I'm just trying to talk and present facts. It's really amazing. Um, then then it's twisted around to me somehow. It's it's just crazy. It's crazy. And it goes on to say the research showed that people who favored the official account of 9-11 were generally more hostile when trying to persuade their rivals. And they use that term conspiracy theorist, which this article talks about. Um, I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to leave the link in the description area. Go read it. It talks about how the, one of the, one of the uh, uh, strategies of uh, conventionalists is to use that conspiracy theory in other words people who use the terms conspiracy theory and conspiracy theorists as an insult are doing so as a result of a well-documented undisputed historically real conspiracy by cia to cover up jf the jfk assassination that campaign by the way was completely illegal and the cia officers officers involved were criminals anyway it goes it does say somewhere in here that the that the conventionalists will use that as a strategy to uh to um to, here it is right here to um to win the to win the com to win the uh debate or whatever you, the, the discussion or, or end it see it says if i call you a conspiracy theorist it matters little whether you have actually claimed that a conspiracy exists or whether you have simply raised an issue that i would rather avoid by labeling you i strategically exclude you from the sphere where public speech debate and conflict occur so it's a very interesting article. I thought, you know, it just goes along with what philosophers and others have been saying for for decades. Um, and speaking of conspiracies, I thought I'd show you this real quick, too. Uh, eight photos you didn't see from Obama's trip to, trip to South Africa. Uh, hanging out with Bush and Clinton and others, but and Bono, you know, and the Clintons, you know. So they show us this divide because they want the people divided because it's uh, what it's what the, their motto is. It's how they, how they control us through divide and conquer. They're not divided at the top. They're on the same page. It's, it's professional wrestlers in suits using words and uh, verbal attacks and not physical ones.
it's uh, it's div divide us as long as they got us at each other's throat about little petty issues uh and and they divide us on all different levels on political social uh, racial sexual all kinds of levels they divide us they divide us they divided the world into countries so they can then bring it back together into one under their rule uh, order ab ko it's all there but anyway, I thought that was interesting. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, again, my website is reddawnpost.com. If you feel so inclined, help me change my profession. I'd really appreciate it. Um, all right, till next time, this is Jesus J. Christ. Take care.